So I went to work and I realized that today is not September 1st, it is September 2nd. Now I made a video earlier today explaining to everybody that I was going to do a 30 day challenge and make a video for 30 days and on October 1st I would have 30 videos. Well, when October 1st came around and I only had 29 videos, I probably would have been pretty upset with myself. Because today is the second and not the first. My plan is to edit some stuff tonight, film some stuff tonight, post it tonight as a September 2nd video. So tomorrow when I wake up, it'll be September 3rd, so I'll still have two videos down and then I'll knock the third one out before I have to go to work at 12 and then... September 4th rolls along and then I'll have four so just trying to stack them up and just stay motivated to keep making these uh, daily videos and I know they're kind of boring they're kind of long they're kind of choppy they're not really edited the color correction is off the shots are shaky um, the camera probably makes noises there's probably wind blowing in the mic all kinds of stuff that is completely wrong with this video but that's not the point the point is to wake up every day at a decent time and do something productive and to film something to get my mind in the state that it needs to be to be able to actually film something every single day and it seems like I've been slacking on that so what I want to do is not slack on that and film something every single day for 30 days and see if after that 30 days I come up with another like good idea that maybe I could film or I just keep doing what I'm doing for the next month and I just keep doing these daily videos and I just do another 30 day challenge but maybe I base the 30 day challenge around a specific thing instead of just all kinds of different things. Got a new job so it's gonna be hard as well to be able to keep track of having to edit these videos, post these videos and um, find the time to actually film and get good content which is the biggest thing so that I don't keep you guys bored like I'm probably doing right now by just talking to you. So that said, let's go inside Got some shoes, got some shoes in my tank top. It is about uh, 11 o'clock. And I'm just going to climb a bit. And uh, I can show you the wall in my room. So, you got four eight foot panels one two three four um, each four foot wide and uh, these two panels over here are uh, they can be slanted so you have a steeper slope um, there's a few holes on the ceiling uh, these are just uh, straight up against the wall so there's no slope and um, different types of holds you know you got some slopers um, some jugs, uh, some like uh, cramps, I guess you could say. I got a pocket, um, just a few edges. Um, uh, here's like one pinch, like a small, it's pretty, like a kind of wide pinch. Um, got a pinch. This one's cool. Look, it always reminded me of a, a bowling ball. Uh, this one's another cool one. Nice big sloper. That one's pretty mean though. Like, here's another one. Big sloper. So, what I want to do is I want to start climbing more. Now, the sad thing about that, since I'm saying that, is this wall uh, that's in my room now won't be here probably in three days because... Um, here's a write-up of all the stuff it took to build this wall, and we're going to sell it. So, the guy came today to look at it, and um, he said he'd give us an extra $50 if we delivered it to his house. So, uh, we'll go over the sheet real quick. It took five sheets of plywood, $32 each, $160 total on that, uh, just for the plywood. 2x4s, took 16 2x4s at $3 each, so that's $48. The stucco, which is, uh, the stucco, which is on the stuff on the wall, is, um, $7.50 each, and we had to get five of those, five buckets. 
Um, the screws are one and a half. Um, those were twenty dollars. So and then we had to get three and a half screws. So those were twenty eight dollars. So that's a total. That was like forty eight dollars on screws. The climbing holds, uh, we got $60 for one set of climbing holds, and then $87 for another set, and then $32 for a smaller set of climbing holds. The T-nuts in the back of the wall that hold the holes on uh, was $52 for all those, which I have more right here, but still, um, they cost a lot of money for those T-nuts. Um, the angle iron uh, that, that is up top that, that bolts to the ceiling, um, we needed two pieces of those, and that was eighteen fifty each. So that's thirty. That was thirty-seven dollars. Angle iron attaching the bolts. Uh, it was three boxes of five eighty-five each. So that was sixteen dollars and seventy-four cents, somewhere around there. And then uh, the section hanging bolts to be able to make it uh, slanted, more slanted or not, uh, was twelve dollars and eighty cents, somewhere around there. And then. We went through a few drill bits, uh, drilling out the metal on the angle iron, and uh, that was about 13 bucks. So total, um, it's around $605.52, um, not including tax or uh, the man hours it took to build it. And it took about, uh, about three weekends, uh, four weekends maybe, just like planning, uh, actually building, and uh, going to the store, etc., etc. About a total of three to four weekends, and um, and that's that, that's what we came up with was this. And it's a, uh, it's nice. I enjoy it, but sadly to say, it will be gone. Um, like I said, it'll be gone in probably two or three days. Um, depending on whatever we pack it up and take it to the guy and if he's uh, down to give us the money for it so we'll just have to see and I'll keep you posted on that as well but for now let's uh, climb on it a bit and see what we can do you know what we're gonna do we're gonna pick a song and then we're gonna try to climb through the whole entire song using a different hold technique each time we hit a different rock if you don't know if you don't know the white stripes Go listen to the White Stripes, because they are awesome. This is what the album cover looks like. The White Stripes. It's a three minute song. So... Okay. Wow. Now, I was probably climbing for... It feels like 30 seconds. Because you're like... You're just in it, you know? You, you're just like pumping the whole time. And it's hard to really hone in on your breathing and the way you grab the rock whenever everything's pumping so much. And because it's been so long... Like everything wants to crack. Everything wants to like. Everything feels jittery and, and, and weird. Like I'm, I'm not gonna lie, my feet are like killing me.
the shoes are off and I'm done climbing my toes are killing me they've been all scrunched together like a like a little pigeon toe and um, now I'm just gonna do some stretches relax go through this footage um, m maybe take a shower after I go through the footage or import it and uh, I just wanna like take this moment to just like let you guys know that I'm sorry that these videos are probably going to be pretty boring um, this is the first day I've done this and I'm making this video here um, to make up for a mistake that I did thinking that today was actually the first so it would start my 30 day challenge of making a video every day of the month well today's the second so um, that's you know you understand what I'm saying so I'm making the video now to make up for my mistake so, I just wanted to take this time just to say, you know, I'm, I'm sorry that the videos are long, and I'm sorry they're going to be unedited, and I'm sorry that they're just going to be kind of boring, you know, this is just my everyday life, this is just what I, what I go through on a daily basis, what I see through my eyes, who I talk to, um, but, but not, not try to be too boring, I want to every day try to make something that I do fun you know try to try to motivate you guys and motivate myself really that's that's the whole point of this 30 day challenge is to be out filming every day for 30 days and after that 30 days if I mean I come up with some idea then then sure I'll, I'll go with it at, on that 30th day and I'll come up with that idea that I thought of or I'll just keep doing these these daily videos and that'll just be something I enjoy doing on the side as I come up with other ideas but um, for these first 30 days, I just want to get some content out there and just uh, see what I can see what I can put out there and see w what's boring and what's not. You know, just um, try to find things that are fun. Try to th find something every day that I I can do that you guys will want to see. Even if that means I have to wake up at five in the morning, six in the morning, because tomorrow I have to work at 12. So that means I'm gonna have to wake up at like five or six go out and film, get some content, and then uh, come back home, edit it, and then be at work at 12, work all night, and then be home by 10, or maybe, hopefully I'll get off around 8, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think I'm going to end up working a double. And uh, so it's going to be hard, and then I know Sunday uh, is going to be hard too because I work a, a double that day as well. Monday is going to be kind of packed, um, just, just dealing with everyday stuff, just like, having to go to the bank, having to uh, pay some bills, just running around, saying, seeing my grandma, seeing my mom. Um, I'm going to have to go back to my mom's at some point, which she lives an hour and a half away, so things are just kind of hectic. So y'all are just going to have to bear with me, and I'm going to try to provide um, some some fun, motivational content as much as possible and not make these daily videos so boring. So just uh, subscribe, like, and comment. Um, Comment anything. Comment any ideas you have. Comment um, stuff like stuff you think that I should just go out and say to people. You know, I'll read the comment to them, and maybe they'll think it's funny. Um, I don't know if you you've seen Adrian G. I think is his name, but he literally he comment trolls, which means like I believe comment trolling. I'm I'm new to this whole thing of uh, vlogging and stuff. My dad actually told me about it, but. Comment trolling, I believe, is where someone will comment something funny to say to a person, and then he goes through to that person and reads that comment to them, and then they they just kind of don't understand what it is, but most of the time, I've seen one of his videos, and it's pretty funny. I think his name was Adrian G. If I find a link to one of his videos, I'll, I'll tag it below, and you should go watch it, because he's great. Um, but other than that, uh, it's, it's the end of the night, work day, so... Like I said, just bear with me on these videos, guys, and we'll see what we come up with. So, thanks for watching, and like, subscribe, and remember, comment anything. Comment any ideas you have for any video, something you want me to do, somewhere you want me to go. Uh, just a little bit about myself before I leave. I live in Chattanooga, Tennessee, so if you know anywhere cool in Chattanooga, Tennessee that you think that I may have not have been, comment below and tell me I need to go there and tell me what I should do there and I'll get it on film for you and I will post it in the next video. So thank you guys. Good night.